Question. How did you get into the defense forces? Didn't your family stop you? Vahida said, Oh no. They felt that a job in the forces would be the best thing for me. When I was very small, I would see army officers in our village. I wanted to be like them. This was really a very big dream for me. While in school, I attended camps, climbed mountains, and girl guide. After I became a doctor, I appeared for an interview to join the armed forces. I got selected there and received a training for six months. Question. Why did you join the Indian Navy? Do you not have to live on the naval ship? Vahida answered, Well, I am very fond of travelling. I like to see different places. And I wanted to go to far off places. I was born in the hills. And now, I am working in sea. I really enjoy it. Very few lady officers have worked on a ship. I am one of them. Earlier, women were not allowed to go on a naval ships. When an opportunity was given, I myself went forward and gave my name. I even want to go in a submarine. I want to do everything which people think women cannot do. At present, women are not allowed to go in submarines, but whenever it is allowed, I will certainly go. Question. So what happened to your degree of MBBS? Vahida said, I am a doctor. But in Indian Navy, a naval doctor does not just give medicines to patients. She is in fact a medical officer. The ship goes to sea for 3-4 months at a time. There, it is my responsibility to make sure that everybody on the ship stays fit and healthy. I carry out medical checkups of all the officers and sailors. I also have to make sure that garbage collects and there are no rats on the ship. Rats and garbage can spread diseases. I must keep everybody ready for any medical emergency on the ship. In case there is an accident on the ship, such as fire, everybody must be ready to deal with it.